There are countless trim levels to the F-150 and some are going to go a little bit under the radar. Personally, I think this one right here, the F-150 Black Widow goes under the radar more than any other one. So today I'm here to shed light on this and tell you exactly what this upfit entails. Now starting on this upfit, you can clearly see a few things that have changed just by looking at it and we can talk about those up front. First and foremost, you have different logoing on the grill here with the Black Widow text right here, as well as you have the little spider hourglass logo that is seen on the back of an actual Black Widow, as well as in those Marvel movies with the normal Black Widow. On top of that, you have the text up top, but overall, not too much really changes up front. You can look a little bit over to the side and you can see that it does have some extra fender flares that'll kind of show a little bit more of an aggressive feel and helps push this to be more than just your standard F-150. It's also a little bit bigger than expected with a six inch lift, giving you that extra ground clearance that makes you feel a little bit higher on the road. On top of that, to help make it feel a little bit bigger, you have 37 inch all-terrain tires with 22 inch rims that I think look really, really good. They also have the Black Widow logo on them as well. But that's kind of it for the Black Widow. There are a few very minute changes but nothing really too much it's all really cosmetic you have some extra logos right here the hourglass once again as well as the spider and you have black widow on the back of the tailgate but that's about it for what changes on the exterior there's not that much that changes on the interior so we can cover that quickly now there's not really that much that changes when you're getting on the inside of the black widow as mentioned previously but a few of the big changes that kind of make it stand out are definitely going to be with the seats these are custom stitch they look a lot better than the standard f-150 seats as well as you have the black widow plastered right behind your head if you have a fear of spiders that may be a little bit unconventional but hey i think it still looks good and helps the truck stand out a little bit more on top of that the biggest change in my opinion is going to be your gauge cluster you have a black widow themed gauge cluster and i think it looks really really nice it's some stainless steel mixed in with some cutouts of a black widow as well as the text that just kind of looks really really nice you still have a digital aspect of your gauge cluster too so do not be afraid you're not losing that entirely if that's something that matters to you other than that there are just a few things of black widow logos which is right underneath the door when you get in the vehicle but that is about it for the inside and that's basically all that changes with the f-150 black widow it may not seem like much but it's definitely an upfit that does not cost as much as a shelby upfit yes it's thirty thousand dollars more which does get a little bit pricey but it does make your truck stand out as a little bit more unique the lift itself i think is a good addition as well as the extra fender flares and the logoing and everything like that the seats are comfy and i do think that it's a good option to consider if you do want it do you think this truck is forgotten for a good reason or do you think that it stands out and definitely does something in its niche. I personally think it's definitely its own little niche and it's something you can look at if you have the money and you're interested.